This app in the App Store is making $170,000 every month. And I copied this app without having to write a single line of code. With only one AI tool that I'm about to show you, we will build the entire app. And let me tell you, this is not just any other video besides showing you how to build the app itself. I'm also going to be showing you how to connect it to a database, how to create user authentication, and even how to connect it to Stripe so you can start making money right away. So I'm gonna type in this prompt, build a responsive habit tracker app that helps users build new habits, reach goals, and organize their routines. Include user sign up and login, a clean and modern landing page that highlights features like habit tracking, progress stats, goal setting, and analytics. And after clicking start building and improving the plan, Replit creates a first version with a clean landing page, subtle animations, feature highlights, testimonials, and call to action sections. One of the first things any serious app needs is user authentication. So I'll prompt the Replit agent with add user authentication, add login and sign up, and users should be directed to a dashboard where they can find the central hub of features. After some troubleshooting with the Replit agent, everything is all good now. The authentication flow works correctly. Now, when I register or log in, I am taken to the dashboard. And when I log out, I return to the landing page. Now for the feature that makes this app actually useful, habit creation. I'm going to do it with this prompt. Add a feature in the Today tab where users can create custom habits by naming them, setting how often they occur, choosing reminder times, selecting a color and icon for each habit, and rating the difficulty or importance of the habit. Now, after fixing some responsiveness issues, I can now create fully customized habits with names, descriptions, frequency settings, difficulty levels even, and visual customization options. I'll also make sure that the created habits appear in the Today's Habits section. Now for tracking progress, I'm going to prompt with this. Create a tracking screen that shows a calendar view of habit completion, a daily and weekly checklist of habits, a street counter that tracks consistency, quick check buttons to mark habits as done or partially done, and visual feedback for completion. After some adjustments to make the mark as done buttons functional, the tracking system works properly. And when I mark habits as complete, I also get visual feedback and the completion rate updates in the calendar view too. Now to help users visualize progress, I'm going to add show progress with heat maps that highlight completed days, success rate percentages, street calendars to visualize ongoing habits and performance analytics that show how users are improving over time. Now this creates a comprehensive analytics section with all of the requested visualization features. And for connecting daily habits to bigger objectives, I'm gonna use this prompt. Allow users to create long-term goals and connect them to their habits. Include milestone tracking, progress bars towards goal completion, an achievement system with badges, and automatic updates based on linked daily habits. Doing this adds goals and achievement sections, allowing users to set long-term goals and track their achievements in one organized place. As our habits grow, organization does become more important. So let's use this prompt. Let users group habits into custom categories like health, productivity, learning, display each category with its own stats, and allow users to filter or view habits by category. Now, when adding habits, I can assign them to categories, making everything a lot more organized and easier to manage. To make the dashboard more informative, I'm going to prompt and the dashboard add an analytics section, show the success rate for each individual habit and for each category highlight the best performing and the worst performing habits, display graphs or charts that show trends over time, show insights or patterns that reveal how different habits are connected. Now the updated dashboard shows useful progress insights with clean layouts, success rates, category performance, time-based trends and habit correlations. For personal reflection, I'm gonna add this. 
Here in the goal section, add a journaling feature where users can write daily reflections, attach notes to specific habit completions, and document obstacles they faced. Include a searchable archive of all journal entries. This creates a fully operational journal entry feature in the goals section. Finally, I'm going to integrate Stripe payments with two plans, a free plan with limited features and a pro plan at $4.99 a month with unlimited access. After setting up the Stripe keys and the Stripe webhook, the subscription flow works end to end. So when users subscribe, they receive a pro badge and unlock all the premium features. Now, I know you want to see a more detailed tutorial, so I added a link in the description where I show you how to build the entire app step-by-step step in full detail. Thanks for watching.